know, living the gimmick. You know, you used to wear the Pizza Hut shirt, and now you don't now have I the shirt. It. Yeah, Pizza you're sauce. literally. Yeah, wearing Pizza Hut. Oh, it, you know, hey, KTV episode twelve, Top Gun Forever Young. We're back. Yeah. Who would have thought? Not yeah, us. yeah, yeah. Because what's going on with KTV? Anyway, yeah, we'll get to knows? that later. Yeah, we'll people are talking. People are talking a lot. Yeah. We'll get to that later. Yeah. But let's start off with, like we always do, with what everyone wants us to talk about. Right, the Great Nokin. Said literally no one. <laughs> literally no one wants us to talk about the great Nokin. Oh, I just thought it was interesting because he unfriended us on Facebook. He unfriended both of us for whatever reason. Which is crazy because it's like, damn, we... we I found out literally, what was it, like less than 10 minutes ago? Five minutes ago? I don't know. I just found out. Yeah. I don't know what I did. I mean, I don't know what I did. You started than... dating Heather Blue. Oh, yeah, that's what I did wrong. God forbid. Yeah, what right? the hell, man? Yeah, that's damn. ridiculous. All right, well, if you want to dislike our videos, and we don't give a fuck. You can easily solve this by apologizing to Noken. <laughs> For what? <laughs> that's all you got to do, and every yeah. day will be all as well. Oh, all yeah. right. Well, all but right. that's not what I was talking about. Fuck you, Noken. Anyway, she's not into you. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> she's just not that into you. Yeah. Um. What everyone wants us to, t- and we're still not giving you the Jack Price Biggest Dick of the Week award, by the way. Yeah. Nice try, huh? Yeah, buddy. Uh, what they want us to talk about is KTV finally got merch. Yes, we got KTV shirts, killing the business. Top Gun Forever Young. If you would like to purchase one, hit up. Top Gun or Forever Young in any of our social media DMs mm-hmm. or at any show to purchase a KTV official t shirt. That's right. Yes. Limited supply. <laughs> yeah, limited supply. <laughs> Sheepy got paid. Oh, he did? Yeah, Sheepy got paid. Oh. Um, Garrett got paid. Oh, he did? Yeah, the fine ass. They got paid. Okay. I think. Everyone got paid. All right, cool. <laughs> Everyone got paid. But, um,. Since they got paid, how many tickets do you think they would sell? Like all of them together? Yeah, like sheepy, you know, finance guys. Mm-hmm. Did you get paid? I, I did oh, get paid. I always make sure I get paid. You yeah. gotta discuss pay. That's what yeah. the promoters say. I used to not get paid. <laughs> for a long time. Yeah, for a long time. <laughs> but, yeah, get paid now. Yeah, so uh, there's a big, so if y'all don't know what we're alluding to, what we're talking about is, apparently, we had a big Michigan pay gate. (laughs) It was a pay gate scandal, where all these wrestlers, well, three in particular, came out and they discussed not getting paid for months and months, and it was all over social media, and there was paragraphs and comments and all this stuff. Uh, DBA was in the comment section eating popcorn. (laughs) I like that, Jeff, because I was doing the same. I was just jotting stuff down for KTB. So, what is your opinion on Paygate? Oh, damn. I got to go first? Oh, all right. I guess since they don't book me anyways, brother. Yo, well, we didn't say who this was about. I mean, I don't know. I I just said (laughs) there's a lot of places that don't book me, dog. Yeah, well, WWE doesn't book me. I will say that somebody (laughs) hit me up in the DMs. Oh no! Who may or may not watch the show, and they said you and Max are not going to talk shit about me on your podcast, are you? And I just said, why would I do that? And they said, someone told Max to do it in the comments. And I said, what the fuck they got to do with me? <laughs> said, you don't want to talk to Max. So did someone tell you to talk shit about another individual on this podcast? Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little concussed right now, so I don't remember. But Is that what we're calling high nowadays? Oh, no. <laughs> you know when we were at the House of Truth? Yes, sir. Yeah, you know when I was going over that spot where I got kicked? By Marcus? Yeah. Yeah. The first one, I did not protect myself <laughs> at all. And I got smacked. Okay. But, yeah. All right. Uh, so, pay game. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, sidetrack. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. Someone might have told me to do it. It wasn't <laughs> like, I don't know. 
I support people getting paid on time. Well, That's apparently, well, apparently, um, some people think that when you're just starting off, you shouldn't get paid, and some people think that. Uh, if you don't discuss pay when you get booked, you don't. That must mean you don't want pay. I would say that part is fair. Who the fuck gonna get booked and say, you know what, I'm good. I don't well, want to like, get paid. Not in like a sense of like that, but it's like if you don't discuss a price, how how can you come to? You know, I I do agree with that because I I do make sure that when I get booked, I discuss it. Yeah, now I. Yeah, do me it too. Because I heard someone say it a long time ago, so I make sure I say that part. Even if I'm getting booked at the same place, I still tell them the price just so that there's no funny business. Also, there's PayPal and PayPal not oh, working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Hit a. Hit me big, up on that cash app, dog. Oh uh, yeah, at Ray Ray. Um. <laughs> oh my fucking what? god! God. <laughs> what? No, nothing. Keep going. Yeah. Sometimes you have to. You use PayPal and it stops working. <laughs> what what is what do you think about PayPal breaking in the middle of transactions? Well, I use Cash App. Me too. Personally. Me too. Uh, I've only <laughs> There's used, a little fee with Cash App though. <laughs> I've only used PayPal like when I'm paying for my gear and that oh. those payments uh, trust me, it rips those <laughs> it rips the money out of my account. So <laughs> trust me, that I know that shit goes through. I'm more of a Zelle guy when I order my gear, you know? You know what? That's respectable. Yeah. yeah. So, off of that subject and on to another one, kind of, we're going into uh, how many tickets will it sell? Oh, <laughs> because Pro Wrestling All-Stars is coming back as Pro Wrestling All-Stars 2.0. Steve Rivera cares. And he is actually promoting the show. I was at... And since he cares, he does not want to book us. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I went to Clash, and there was an All-Stars poster on my window in my car. There also was a Metro Pro Wrestling one. Which so year they, I'm a flyer for. I am. I am. And I saw it. it was, that was pretty funny. But it is true. Steve says that if you... I asked Steve to wrestle somebody. He's like, how many tickets will you sell? So Steve is... I have to say someone we could just name drop because we know how many tickets they'll sell because who which one because I asked for three different people oh can I just say the name yeah James Fury yes I asked for yeah. James Fury shout out, out to him yes but like yeah so I know for a fact that he'll sell at least fifteen really oh oh <laughs> and I gotta least. talk about that yeah. Yeah. okay and that's more than I've seen at some shows so yeah yeah I've been at some. Shows in Michigan where there have been less than 15. We've wrestled in front of less than 15. Yeah. Not in Michigan. Well, maybe in Michigan, but also, I'm talking about, you know, in Indiana. We wrestled yeah. in front of a family. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I'm just saying 15 people showing up for one guy is pretty pretty good, I'd say. How many tickets will it sell? How many tickets? You know, how many tickets do you think Steve versus the Spider would sell? Speaking of that, <laughs> <laughs> so Steve put something on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think that Spider put it on Facebook. I forget how this started. I think it was a post that the Spider made, and then Steve commented on it. Yeah, it was just like, how many banger matches have you had? Because that's another thing that my good friend Steve Rivera likes to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how many banger matches have you had? It's, the Spider got so offended. I mean, so offended. Spider like went off talking about uh he he hates wrestling in Michigan because there's drama and people put each other down which there is a lot of drama. That's, that's By the way, for point. anyone who has a problem with KTB podcast, somebody made a good point. They said if you got a problem with the issue discussing drama in Michigan, maybe there shouldn't be so much drama in Michigan. <laughs> easy Damn. easy fix, easy fix. But yeah. anyway, the spider was saying that. Uh, he hates Michigan because of this and that, and uh, he goes down south to wrestle, and that's why. And then he said that uh, when he was the trios champion at All Stars, they had many banger matches. Uh, uh, Detroit Punk have many banger matches, and he said, "Would you agree?" And Steve didn't agree. <laughs> so then they got to a little, you know, a little scuff, and then uh, the Spider deleted Steve. 
Oh, damn. Yes. Damn, so that's how his pro wrestling all-stars run comes to an end? the greatest pro wrestling all-stars champion of In all history. time deleted the promoter of pro wrestling all-stars. You hate to see it. I hate to see it. What's your opinion on that one? Well, uh, how many banger matches did he have during that time? You want me to give a number? Or, like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you were in that trios division. I wasn't. Well, yeah, I, I was, you know, because I guess they had nothing else for me. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it was, like, I wouldn't classify matches I've had with him as bangers because, like, Fuck it. You want me to be completely honest? Because I can be completely fucking honest. Sure. All right. A lot of the matches I had with them were at like the Victory Gym Pro Wrestling All Star shows, and they were like around the time where those were drawing like fifteen people, <laughs> max. And I'm just this is just me being honest. Well, it doesn't. I'm matter. just this is me be. It's not me talking shit. I'm no. I'm making sure. That I because you're laughing. I want to make sure that they know. This is me telling the truth. You can go back and watch those matches. There's like 20 people in the crowd. Well, okay. The size of the crowd does not matter for a banger okay, match. Okay, <laughs> but it's kind of hard to call it a banger when they're also all not making noise. Well, there you go. I would agree with that. So I would like, agree with that. And you know what? That's probably on me, so I'll take the rap for that. But, like, I don't know. All right. Honestly, real question. How many banger matches do you think you've had? Honest to God, how many do you think you've had? And I'll answer for myself. I feel like I, I don't I don't know. I don't think I'm that good, to be honest with you. Uh, I've had good matches. So no, zero banger matches, you would say? Well, I feel like, I feel like I've maybe had one or two. One or maybe two? Maybe three. Maybe three banger matches? Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, what qualifies as a banger match to you? Like, something that I can easily watch back multiple times and be proud of, I guess, I at like least that. when it comes to watching myself. I like that. All right, so to me, a banger match, like, honestly, like, I think the word banger, when I think of banger, like I think, like, it's a fast-paced match, honestly. I, I know some good matches, some great matches are not fast-paced, Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania is one of my favorite matches. It's not fast-paced. But I think banger matches, I'm thinking bang, bang, like spot after spot, and it's just like all something, no filler, whatever that phrase is. So that's what I think when I think of banger matches. And uh, I think I've had... Uh, I'm going to go with four. And uh, mainly all of them had to do it. <laughs> My good buddy, KJ. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to lie, there was the, the one four-way match we had with Ryan and KJ, they kind of carried us, to be honest with you. Like, I'll go back and watch that, and I'll be like, damn, KJ and Ryan are so good. And then we're just kind of there. <laughs> all right, well, uh, JR. Add Steve back on Facebook, yeah. all right? Don't, One more run. Don't take him so seriously. Yeah, it's Steve on, Rivera. Man. Come on, if we all took him seriously, we would. No one, no one would be friends with the guy. Come on, he thinks the earth is flat. <laughs> he does. I mean, he honestly, well, AJ Styles thinks the earth is flat. Yeah. So, so <laughs> and he's like one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Yeah. Also a threat member. So, is there a correlation? With being in the threat and thinking the earth is flat. Well, Jimmy Jacobs also thinks the earth is flat. I think we're on the same <laughs> here. Uh, But also speaking of Steve Rivera, Steve Rivera t told me the funniest story. He said he was driving down the telegraph, and he's like, hey, there's LaMario's gym. Then he said, hey, there's LaMario's car. <laughs> then he said, hey, there's LaMario. <laughs> so he pulled over to say hi, and then he said, Hey, LaMario! And LaMario's on crutch. <laughs> He's limping. And he, he said, what happened? <laughs> and, like, I guess LaMario had just had a competition. He said, I, tore, I don't want to botch his injury, but he, I think it was a torn quad. I think. Uh, if it's not, please don't sue me. But, uh, yeah, so um, get well soon to LaMario's star.
Yes. Get well soon. Yes. I he thought was one third of the Bubba family office. Or Bubba Appreciation Society. Yeah. One fourth of you include Bubba. That is true, actually. But yeah, get well soon, man. He, I, I really enjoyed tagging with him. He is. He definitely. Um, I went. I, I graduated with that guy. Like he definitely is one of the most humble, actual humble guys. Yeah. To me. Uh, what's next, Top Gun? Well, it says tub of protein. I don't know what that what is. Hell? Oh, because he had a tub of protein. <laughs> oh, Mario. Well, well, Mario had a tub of protein in one hand and a crutch in the other. What did you think that was about? <laughs> well, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just saw it there. I mean, I mean, you don't got to go off the yeah. my bullet points. Well, brother, I my phone is... Oh, yeah. Actually, there is a couple things I wanted right, to br- right. bring up, actually. Just... Because... Going back to the topic of bangers, right? Uh-huh. Grizzly Pro just passed. Yes. And, you know, there were, there were, I would say, a good amount of good matches on that show. Shouts out. Okay, so any match Adam Wick has is a banger. Uh, no, I'm not trying to be nice to Adam Wick because he joined Killing a Bit. All right? Uh, well, that's two of my three, <laughs> so there you go. Right. <laughs> there you fucking go. <laughs> All right, go ahead. But, uh, so, we were watching the show, the first segment happens, which, which, I'm not gonna lie, made me a little bit uncomfortable watching a man who was a year and a half sober get super, super drunk at a show. That was kind of uncomfortable to watch. But then after that, so after that, we get to Davison versus Eddie Dillon. Very built up. Yes, love both of these two. Love Eddie Dillon, love Davison. I don't know Eddie Dillon, but I had some bad experiences with him online, so I can't say that I feel the same. Mm, Well, he had a bad experience with my best friend. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, keep going, though. But, so, that match happens, and then, like, whatever. So, they go to the back. And then the next match is Soul Taker versus, I think, Samson something. No, it was I, actually I a second match. Then Soul oh, Taker was, was third. Oh, not gonna lie. <laughs> because it was funny. The only reason I remember this, I know that, is because it was hilarious. It was hilarious. But keep going. Not gonna lie. After after that match, I went out and smoked. And then uh, I came back. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Makes I don't sense. remember that. So you that. missed the second yeah, match. Yeah, so I missed the second match. And then, so I come back. <laughs> the match and, caused you to smoke. <laughs> and... Soul Taker is coming out when yeah. I come back, and I sit out in the first row, and he's slowly going around, and I feel bad for Eddie Dillon, because Eddie comes and sits down like two spots away from me, <laughs> and here comes Soul Taker around, and he leads in close to me, and he says, that first match was bad, and I bust out fucking laughing, oh, oh, brother. and Eddie <laughs> Dillon walks he, he gets up and he walks away and I felt so fucking bad, but Brother. it was so fucking funny. So from my point of view, I was at a merch table. So a couple <laughs> a couple seats back. I'll tell you right now, Soul Taker walked slow and when he got towards you and the Great Tiger, because I was behind y'all, couple rows, he did not lead in close and say it quietly. He leaned in and said, that first match was bad. <laughs> He broke character. He was loud. And I bust. All of us, we all bust out laughing. I was sitting next to Dean's girlfriend and Marquise's girlfriend. We bust out laughing. And like the entire first row was like Aaron Orion, the Great Tiger, me, I think one of the Made Men's girlfriends. Eddie Dillon, apparently. (laughs) Jamie Cox's wife was sitting with us too. (laughs) That first match was bad. So apparently he said it to them in the back. Yeah, apparently, like, after that, he was like, man, thank God this is over. Oh, my God. And, like, I guess when they got to the back, <laughs> he didn't, he hold didn't back. wait. Yeah, he didn't wait. He didn't Imagine hold back. Imagine if someone said that to us. <laughs> the man feels so I'm bad. I'm not going to lie. I've had people say similar things. Really? About you? Yeah. Well, I only had that. Well, it wasn't like they said it was bad, but I'm sure you know the infamous Pro Wrestling All-Stars 20 minute match. Yeah. Yeah. yeah where everyone was upset except the promoter. Just yeah. Saying, but. Yeah. And none of those people really wrestle around here anymore. Yeah. Exactly. Crazy. Yeah. Well. Anyways. Anyways. 
So Baron Corbin got some heat. Yeah, maybe, apparently, apparently Baron Corbin is pissing off Michigan vets. Yeah. <laughs> what this happened? One, this one was a weird one. Uh, I think he said something on Twitter where he said, wrestling for 15 years on the indies isn't an accomplishment. And I guess some people felt a certain type of way about that. <laughs> So do you think wrestling on the indies for 15 years is an accomplishment? It depends on where you wrestle. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because there are indie companies out here that are good and that are, like, really good to, like, work for. So, like, MLW is a million-dollar promotion. It's an indie. It's a million-dollar promotion, though. Not millions. A million-dollar promotion. But it's still an indie. AAW is bigger than MLW. I think. I don't know that for a fact. They're about, like, close. But it's definitely a million-dollar promotion. But, yeah, like, if you've wrestled for 15 years... and you Yeah, and you can say that you've been everywhere and done everything there is to do, then, like, I, I guess I don't see an issue with saying GCW that's an accomplishment. GCW is millions of dollars. I don't think anyone... Will ever wrestle 15 years for GCW, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, my goal. I mean, some people wrestle for fun. Some people wrestle to be on TV. I, yeah. I, I want to get on TV, my, personally. I mean, like, are you wrestling for fun? Or are you wrestling to get on TV? I mean, nothing wrong with wrestling for fun. Yeah. Like, I mean, I feel like I'd do it more, like, if I'm not having fun with what I'm doing, I can't really invest myself in it. Mm-hmm. So, like, I tend to work, like, or go to shows that I tend to have more fun at. Like, there could have been times where I could have went somewhere else because, like, it's probably, like, a bigger thing, but I've had worse experiences at. So, mm. I don't think there's anything wrong with wrestling for fun. Yeah. Especially if you can get, like, somewhere far in the process. So... Yeah. So, uh, also, we were supposed to talk about something oh, that God. someone uh, asked us to talk about a long time ago. We just kept forgetting and forgetting and forgetting it. Yeah. Hey, Jeremiah, not gold man. <laughs> so, Ladon, Ladon, and Jeremiah, well, how much time we got? Uh, we're 23 minutes in. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we're well within time here. Well within time. So, Jeremiah, we talked about Alex Weir a while ago. And when the trailer came out, Jeremiah told me, oh, God, N- not Goldman. Yeah, not Goldman. So not Goldman. He said, oh, God, here we go. So then the episode, I thought he was just saying, oh, God, because the trailer was, like, intense. Yeah. Then the episode came out, and he was like, oh, I was very relieved to know that that was about Max and Alex and not me and Ladon. Which thanks, I guess. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, dude. So apparently, <laughs> apparently, so... Max, so so, Alex was flirting with your girlfriend. So, Ladon, like Jeremiah, Ladon, Ladon, Ladon has a girlfriend. Yes, and apparently, shouts out Selena. They said I could say this on here. Like I told, like Ladon. Oh, the whole thing. Ladon's one of my closest friends. He said he don't care. So like apparently, Ladon thought that. Jeremiah was flirting with his girlfriend, and they, they had a big falling out. Damn. Yeah, 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 buddy. <laughs> that happened. So, uh, yeah, so that happened. So now I mentioned it, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they won't work with each other on IPW or anything anymore. Damn. Isn't that some shit? Damn. What is up with these wrestlers? Like, can we just have a regular girl in wrestling? Yeah, <laughs> like, can we not? Like, try to, I don't all get these it. wrestlers want to flirt with girlfriends? Like, what the hell? I don't get, like, the not having boundaries thing. Yeah, because Jason Hospit on Facebook, like, one way to get on my bad side or yeah, piss me off. Because or... I guess someone was mean to his girlfriend. <sighs> Yeah, be a dick to my girlfriend at a show. I don't know what happened with that, but it's just like if you see a girl at a show, really you should respect everyone, but like just yeah. assume she's with a wrestler. Yeah. Right. They're Let's also assume. not entitled to anything from you. Yeah. Like they can just exist without having to like talk to you. Yeah. Don't be a dick. Yeah. Please don't. PSA. 
PSA. Who would have thought PSA. we would be given the PSA about this? Yeah. Uh, what What's going on with KTB? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. What is going on? I mean, we added new people into the group. Yeah, so apparently, like, someone told me, they said, they called me, and they were like, hey, uh, so what's going on with you and Max? Because uh, the locker room's talking. And I was like, about what? <laughs> they were like, I don't know. They said that y'all aren't um, on the same page, and y'all are having some issues. And I was like, we are? <laughs> this is news to me. I had no clue. So someone told me that you said that if one of the promoters, like, or one of the, someone told me that if one of the promoters voted for me to be Rookie of the Year, it would be kind of like wasting a vote. So who said that? Let me guess. Jeremiah Goldman. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Yeah, actually. Yeah, actually. The person that always yeah. is in the middle of every single KTB. What's going on with KTB topic? Yeah, so uh, I did get told that. So do you believe it? I mean, I feel like that's kind of a weird thing to say, so I, I don't really... I don't really think you... Like, there would be no reason to say it. Mm, exactly. I mean, like, who else would, what other promoter would actually say that to you? I mean, well, a lot of promoters out here are petty, to be honest with you. Mm. So a lot, to be honest with you. Touche, touche. Uh, voting for Max would not be a waste of a vote. <laughs> voting for Forever Young would be a waste of a vote. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, I'm just joking. Not. Uh, so who do you think would be Rookie of the Year? I don't know. I feel like. Either Ryan or KJ or Marquise. Yeah, or Marquise. Not me. Probably <laughs> like, like honestly, I don't know. I don't feel like I've done enough compared to everybody else around me. So like, I feel like I've grown a lot over the past year. But I feel like there's people that are like doing this for less time that have already surpassed me. So I don't think that like, it would be nice to get that award. Don't get me wrong. Okay, are we recording now? Technical difficulties, as always. Yeah, part two. But, and as you were saying. But anyway, what was I saying? You won Metro Pro Rookie of the Year. But yeah, like, it's all just a title, to me, in my opinion. Like, anyone can win the awards. Yeah, like, accolades are accolades. Like, don't get me wrong. It would be nice to get the award and everything, like. It would be nice to say, hey, I've done this, 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 and this. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's well, not something that I'm going to be like, oh, well, like, fucking, I should have done this. Or I should have done this in my career. Or this should have been me. Like, I don't know. I feel like I haven't earned a place to say that. Well, you did win Tag Team of the Year. Okay, we did win Tag Team of the Year, actually. <laughs> so so you got one. You got yeah, one we did. we did win one award. You got one award. So... So maybe there will be a tag team of the year, and we can win that one for Michigan. Too. Well, that was Michigan. That was Michigan. That was the upper Michigan. Maybe we could win it for the lower Michigan. Too. Brother, people hate us down here. <laughs> there was a fan that went up to Bubba and was <laughs> was like, pointed at me and said, that guy in the blue hoodie, I need him out of here. <laughs> I don't want to see him anymore. And I'm like, damn, dog. Like, I thought I was pretty good. Well, I think, all right, so, like, I think that you could win Rookie of the Year. I think, I think we could both win Rookie of the Year this year. Um, I think it's plausible. I do think Ryan and KJ and Marquise are up there, too, though. Yeah, so, they all have a fair shot. I think Dean is up there, too. So, what, what, so, like, if you had to spill your case on being a Rookie of the Year, what would you oh, say? Oh, don't fucking, what, what would you say? I'll go first. I'll go first. All right, yeah, you go first. All right, so if I had to, like, spill my case for being rookie of the year, I would say, like, um, I wrestled in, like, three different, or four different states this year. I would say, like, when I graduated with my class, Lamario, Marcus, uh, Kyler, Solo, Brutus, and myself, I would say, like, Lamario had the body. People were going to book him no matter what. I would say Marcus, he went with uh, LJ. So he had like a... In the best way possible, 
Lam- uh, LJ was, he was in a group, so that was, it's more easy to get bookings like that, especially with somebody like LJ. Kyler, Solo, and Brutus all rode together and then went to shows like with Jeremiah or with Sean, Tyler. They were getting help. Me, when I started, I didn't have any of that. I just, it was just me. I was driving to shows out of state, driving to shows hours away by myself. I had, I didn't have no help getting on shows. I actually had somebody trying to pull me away from shows. I was trying to keep me off shows. So like I I got I don't know if it's called heat because it was just like one person that hated me. It was trying to get me black balls, like get me to stop wrestling. Well, they had that caused a lot of people to dislike you because they were told not to like. Exactly, you. I, I, people were literally told not to like me. Don't book him. All this stuff, and I still just went to shows myself. Drove to Ohio. Drove to AWE hours away by myself, just in a car. And went to shows not knowing if I was going to get booked and just taking a chance and getting booked. Uh, being told, oh, I don't think you can use a forearm as a finish. Then here it is. It's the finish. Um, yeah, I started off coming out with just a cell phone. Then that evolved into a selfie stick. Two selfie sticks. Then I had an entourage turned that entourage into a group, a faction, and then I won multiple titles with you, with Dean, Keegan, Kyler, myself, won an award. That's what I would say for myself. Um, damn. Okay, I guess now it's time for me to make my case, I guess, which, I don't know, like... When I look back over the past, like, year and year and a half, almost two years now, like, I think back to when I first started, and, like, I I feel like a lot of people didn't give me a shot to succeed. Like, of course I had LJ, and he had my back and everything, Mm -hmm. but, like, I feel like a lot of people looked at the group as a a whole and didn't see a whole lot in me, but saw, like, a lot more in everybody else. Because I remember somebody telling me, like, okay... All you need to do is just take the moves and tag in and let Marcus do all the moves. Like, just let Marcus do the moves. You take the moves, just let Marcus hit all the stuff. He takes nothing, like, blah, 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 blah. And so, like, I remember for, like, months coming in all these, like, coming to all these shows. And, like, we had, there was people in your class that didn't like me. And they made it known that they didn't like me at every single locker room. So every single locker room I went into, I felt like I wasn't wanted there. And, like, so I remember just being down on myself for a majority of the time. And, like, until I started having matches with you, matches with Adam Wick, matches with, like, KJ and Ryan, matches, like, I had, I won the Pro Wrestling All-Stars title. Then I won the, like, FU Trios title. Then we went to the UPW. We made a lot of noise there. We come up there, they go crazy for us. We win those titles. And it's like, I remember in training, I pitched me and Lamario fucking teaming up. And you remember who said that I was fucking crazy. But there were people in that class that said I was fucking crazy to even think that me and Lamario could even team up. And then fast forward a year and a half later, and I got me a set of fucking tag team titles with them at Metro Pro. Everything that I've set out to do so far in wrestling that I've said out loud that I wanted to do, I have done. And, like, I'm not trying to blow smoke up my own ass or anything when I say this. No, you can, because you you can. Like, like, I'm not trying to say that I'm the shit or anything, because I'm very much not good. I've been very lucky in some of the situations that I've been given. But some of these things has been like, okay, here's the ball, now fucking run with it. And I feel like, to a degree, I've taken it and I've knocked a lot of shit out of the park. Like, when the Cobra Kai turn happened, that shit, like, that moment was fucking crazy in itself. But, like, I just, I don't know. I, when it comes down to it, I don't give a fuck about the Rookie of the Year thing, to be completely honest with you. Like, in my own head, I know where I've, like, how I've grown and where I've progressed to. So, like, if you want to give it to me, cool. If you don't, whatever. Or maybe you'll be breakout star of the year. Probably not. I mean, like, yeah. 
or or one of us could be breakout star of the year. That's probably you, dog. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Okay, <laughs> which one of us has more singles titles? What what's that got to do with anything? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> so I'm just saying. The like title was a title. Somebody said that to me. I, I think. Oh, actually, it was KJ when we were doing feud. He's like, "How many of those were tagged out?" Like, gives a fuck. A title's a title. Yeah, but still, like you. <laughs> it was in kayfabe, by the way. I'm not saying he actually said that. But still, you're like, I feel like at least you're semi main to main event or everywhere you're at. I feel like. Look, thanks, thanks, but. uh... I know I'm not a good wrestler. Are I know you I'm, heritage champion right now? Yeah, yeah. But I know I can, like, I, I think that, uh, you see, you know how Gio Bronco, how we always tease Gio Bronco for doing seminars? So if we had to, like, if you had to do a seminar, what would you teach? Because I know if I did a seminar, oh, I would God. teach people how to, how to, how to, Trick people into thinking that you're good. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Me too. That's it's exactly what I, I think, would do. I think that's what I do. I think that I like, I do a good job with tricking people. Okay. Like, yeah. Into thinking I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Like, no, that's not true. No, that's like, not true. I I definitely do it. I think you're actually good, but thanks. But uh, yeah, brother, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. But it's time to. Oh, yeah, now that we've blown smoke up both of our asses, now it's time to put Put somebody somebody over. (laughs) Now that we've talked about ourselves for like 20 minutes. I don't go. So I was supposed to put this person over. Like a lot of times I like skipped out and I said, oh, somebody else came up. Somebody else came up. Now I get to finally put this person over and I'm so happy. I am so happy. I hope you don't steal. I hope, God damn it! I hope you don't steal. It's not. I'm not stealing from you. It's, it's no way. So I am putting over my good friend, KJ Reynolds. Okay. My guy, I'm so happy. I am so happy for all the success that you got. And uh, <laughs> it caused me to have an anxi- my first ever anxiety attack in wrestling. After I had my singles match with him, I literally thought that I sucked at wrestling because of how much pain I was in after that match and how blown up I was. I honestly, it felt like, like I was just like, oh my God, this guy is so good and so fast and just everything he does is so good. And I, I fucking suck. (laughs) That's what I was thinking. That's honestly what I was thinking. I felt like I was wrestling out of weight. Cause like he reminds me of him, cause he's so fast, and like he's also one of the so so nice to me. I've never had a problem with him. He um, he actually was the one that came up to me. Oh, we're back. Yeah, technical is it, dick. It, it, dick. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it is it focus? difficulties? Um, I don't think so. Hold on, I think. Okay, I think we're focused. Okay, hope, and we're back. I hope we're focused. I hope we're focused. And we're back. Technical difficulties. We're, we're he back. Was, he was the first person to come up to me at the House of Truth, and he actually came up with the idea for him to come out with me holding the camera. That's how that all, whole thing even started. So I give him credit for that. Because, like, he, he came out with me, and Ryan just so happened to be there. So, like, I was like, oh, I can use you too. And then I have both of them, and... I had a lot of fun with him inside Critical Content, rest in peace. <laughs> and uh, uh, I loved when I got to team with him in single and two on two action. He was one of my favorite people to team with. It was a lot of fun uh, putting together matches with him and the singles match. I enjoyed our feud at Metro Pro. I enjoyed that I got to take the Heritage title from him. <laughs> Damn. <Nah. laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, KJ. I love you. I love you, KJ. But I just love watching. I'm pretty sure I watch every single one of his. Every single one of your matches I watch. I'm a KJ Reynolds fan. So I would like to put over KJ Reynolds. And now me. I'm actually prepared for this segment this time. Because after going to the House of Truth, I'm like, damn. Like, I knew immediately who I wanted to put over after we were done. And that person is Aaron Orion. So, yeah, talk about a guy who doesn't fucking need it coming from us. <laughs> but, yeah, like, I went to the House of Truth and just learning from him, he, his mind for this shit is out of this fucking world. Like, when it comes to, like, transitions and moving and flowing, like, 
the ebbs and flows of matches and going into spots and transitioning out of them and into other shit is just like is on another fucking level. Like I remember uh Jason Hodge talking about like there being levels to this shit. Mm. And like when Aaron was talking, I was like, Holy fuck. Yeah, there's levels to this shit because like I wasn't even thinking about any of what he was talking about before he like brought it up. I had a match with him. <laughs> right before that. And I felt the same way. <laughs> but yeah, so levels. the person I'm putting over is Aaron Orion. Shouts out to you. Even though he does not watch this shit at all. <laughs> the leader of DTA. I almost said KTB. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could you could join too. That would probably listen. Help us out. Listen, you say he don't watch this. Listen, There's I no be way I be fucking watch. I be this. finding out all types of people watch this. All right, I I, I was talking to June Tai and I showed him a clip. I'm like, what did you think of this? He's like, killing the business. I'm like, June Tai watches the podcast. <laughs> Truth Martini watches the podcast. Really? Truth Martini, uh, uh, June Tai. Like, there's people that watch it. So, yeah. Whoa. He just accepted my friend request on Facebook. Who, Truth Martini? No, Aaron uh, Orion. Oh, mine's too. Yeah, it was so, after we had our match. Oh, hell yeah, <laughs> let's fucking go. So, <laughs> there's there's no way, though. I'm ah, enough of that shit. Yeah, it's time to put... Shit. Oh, wait. It's yeah, time to <laughs> Jack Price's biggest dick, dick of the week award. Yay. Sick of putting people over anyways. <laughs> so... We had a tough time picking this award because no one's really fucked up over the past couple weeks, at least not with us. So we decided to give this to Steve, Steve Rivera. Rivera. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations, Steve. Biggest dick of the week award. Yeah. I, 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 felt, I told him that I felt bad. For, you know, the, the people who just graduate House of Truth or Skull and Bones or uh, all these, uh, Pure Pro or, they had a 21-man battle royale at Metro Pro. And there was, like, student like, people who graduated from, like, five different schools in that battle royale. Yeah. So, like, I felt bad that, like, all, for us in All-Stars 2021 was pretty much just show up and you get booked. Like, yeah. Which was nice. Like, you just showed up and you got put on the show. Yeah, it was reps. It was reps. But now... Steve, and I'm not giving him the biggest dick of the week award because he's not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm, doing, yeah. I'm doing it because of the way that he's saying it. It's yeah. Like, how many tickets can you sell? Well, if we just graduated. <laughs> well, fuck, you don't know. We're not a draw yet. <laughs> yeah, damn. I don't know. He yeah. hasn't tried. He hasn't reached out to me for that show. So he reached out to Cobra Kai. He didn't reach out to me. <laughs> he didn't DM me. So... I'm not even in Cobra Kai. Well, that's a one man stable. Former members. He reached out to LJ Lawrence, uh, Iron Eagle, Roadhouse, a Top Gun, and I even hear that he reached out to Tyler Adams. Remember him? Yeah, well, you know what? If he can get Tyler Adams, he can come in and he can take my spot. <laughs> Alright guys, but that's it for this episode of KTV. Uh, make sure you check out all the other episodes. Oh my god, we forgot our sponsor. Oh, by the way, they, they said that they'll come back next year. <laughs> so, so that was good. So that was good. We, we, okay, we, cool. we almost forgot to remember, but they said they would come back next year. Okay, cool. Sorry, I got That was the episode, so see you fuckers later. Top Gun Forever, y'all. We'll see you later. Check out the vlog.